Joining me is Sherry Shannon Vanstone. Welcome, Sherry. Thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you for this opportunity to be here. I'm excited. I'm so glad you made it. I mean, whether or not withstanding, you, you made it and you, and you got it in. And we get to talk to you about uh, technology yes. and women in, in STEM as well, or STEAM. Um, right off the bat, tell us a little bit about yourself and your company, Profound Impact. Profound Impact is uh, a local company, and we um, provide a service. Uh, we, it's called Research Impact. It's a software as a, as a service, and we utilize AI technology and lots of data to match research funding opportunities with researchers, whether they're in academia or in industry. For example, I'm an academic researcher and I'm applying to, uh, I see a op funding opportunity and I need an industry partner that's required, like my tax funding, then Research Impact can find those, the, f the industry partner for me and also find the right funding for me. So it, it's targeted, relevant research funding to, with the goal to, for us to get the best research for the research dollar. So not to get too much into your trade secrets, yeah. but that must be an enormous amount of research on your own part on the back end to be able to find all these funders and partners. Yes, yes. And we use AI technology to bring all that data in. So we bring in the funding opportunities. Then we bring in all the information about the researcher, the previous uh, publications, their area of expertise, and what they're looking for funding for, to, for specific projects. And then we match that. And then if there's a requirement for an industry partner, then we can find a project. So lots of data, big, big data. So lots of data and then some really cool AI tools that we get to use. Excellent. Well, might as well make use of the, of the technology. Yes. People can be scared of AI. What, what's your take on that? Is it a tool for you or is it something that can maybe turn, turn on you at some point? What do you think? I think AI is just like any other technology. I was in information security and cybersecurity previously in my previous companies. I am a serial entrepreneur. And I think it's at least at least 30 years under your belt, at yes, least. It, yes. yes. And during that time, in particular, let's say for, we did the security for BlackBerry. And so BlackBerry had the most secure device that is correct. out there. And guess who could use it? The politicians, the government, and also the not good actors. So we have technology that can be used for good by good people, and there's technology that's, that's going to be used by bad actors. So the whole thing is that we can't really control that. What we can control as a company like myself is to look at the large language models that's behind the A. AI that we're using and make sure that it's from a reliable source. So hopefully there's no bias and there's no black box there. We understand it. So yes, AI is valuable and I think it will help us. Well, it will not just help us. It will make us more efficient. And so we can concentrate on what we call the higher value task. Right. So then rather than trying to ban AI, is, there's a, a bit of gatekeeping and a bit of well due diligence, right? Which is what you should do with, with any project. Yes. Because often I find when you try to ban something, then it just goes underground, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And AI is, you know, it's, it, there's a lot, there's many companies that are looking at this. And I'm not saying there shouldn't be oversight and regulation. There should be, but everyone should know that it is being looked at. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So before Profound Impact, what, tell us a little bit about the uh, the industry that you were working in. You said cyber, secu well, cyber security. Information security, is, cyber is, security. Is that your academic background as well? Yes, yes. I was a mathematician. I like how yeah. she's pointing at me. <laughs> yes, we are both mathematicians. I know that you have a degree in mathematics too. I have mine from the States, from the University of Tennessee. I am an American and dual, dual Canadian. Been in Canada 30 years now. And um, so I... Uh, graduated with a master's degree in mathematics and then I went to work for the US government as a cryptologic mathematician which means making cryptographic codes and breaking those cryptographic codes. Okay. So I was there for six years and then I went to Silicon Valley to a startup Oh wow! and in that area of information security worked there six years and had a great exit from there and then I came to Canada to work for a company that was a spin-out 
from the University of Waterloo, CERTICOM. Oh, CERTICOM, excellent. Yes. Well, I, I love to hear these stories, and it just brings it brings the whole thing to life as well. It's not just dark rooms and servers, it's real people doing these jobs and coming yes. up with these innovative yes. ideas. Um, now, we talked about funding, like so profound, you, obviously you have a love for funding and helping other people and getting projects out to market as well. Um, and that's what Profound Impact does. You are also involved with other funding initiatives. Just last week, I think was it last week? Yes. There was a big announcement, Women Founding Women. What is that about? Yes, so Women Founding Women is about, it's a collective and with the mission to get more female angel investors to support women founders through their pre-seed and seed financing. And there, I and why did this? Why, what was the challenge? Why was why did you have this vision to have women uh, founding other women? Well, currently, only one point nine percent of all venture capital goes to women-led ventures. And that's both U.S. and Canada. One point nine percent. So obviously, there's a funding gap. And how do we bridge that funding gap? And we've been talking about it. And I personally just last year went out to raise funds for Profound Impact and found it challenging. So I decided, you know what, I'm not going to talk to these specific groups that are male dominated. I'm going to talk to females, first time angel investors. And so I was able to raise 3.125 million and the majority was from female first time angel investors. So I know it's possible. So how do we take that and, and get more, a momentum behind it and a catalyst for change to get more capital? And I believe I mentioned earlier to you about the, the, the study that was done out of a group in Calgary. And it says that if we could get women to invest at the same level as men, we, we, we could add over 3.2 trillion dollars trillion not million yeah, not to billion the, trillion to, to the available capital so why shouldn't we be doing this oh absolutely because mm -hmm. awareness is one thing and awareness mm -hmm. is great but then we have to get down to business and business runs on on capital it runs on yes money. it does absolutely and why shouldn't the women be there too oh we have to be because yes. you said you said you used another statistic 51 percent yes because Fif well we, well we are 51 percent of of the population also it is um it is well documented that women-led ventures are more effective by 63%. Oh, they're wow. more uh, effective in the boardroom. They're more effective in the uh, in profit profitability. So the data's out there. Yeah. Well, numbers, numbers. You numbers, and I love numbers. those both. Yes. And before that, we uh, before we have about a minute or so left, uh, um, I know you wanted to talk a bit about another initiative you're with, Women in Communications and Technology. Yes. Just, just take us home with that. What is that about? Women in Communications and Technology is a Canadian organization, not not for profit organization that it has been around for 30 years. Started as Women in Communication, then expanded to add technology. And in 2019, I was invited to have a, a, a find a, ch a chair, a, a chapter here in Waterloo. You think, wow, why did that? You know, 2019. Why are we just getting that a chapter? That was the other day, man. So this organization is the only national organization that I know of that provides uh, women uh, leadership skills, professional development, mentorship, and locally. We started in 2019 uh, mentor mentoring circles here, and we've had over 500 participants since the beginning of this initiative. Well, so. that is wonderful. I'm, there's so much more we can talk about as well, Sherry, yes. but we were at the end of our time here. But thank you for all that you do for, you know, our, for our economy. I know you're a very successful entrepreneur and also helping others. You don't keep it to yourself. You give back and make sure that other people are successful too. Um, I guess people, if they're looking for more information, do you have a website at yes. Profound Impact? Yes. Yeah. yes, and also LinkedIn. At LinkedIn, yes. And they'll look for, for Profound Impact or can they look you they know, could sure. look for me sherry, sherry shannon, shannon vanstone, vanstone. excellent profound impact women funding women women in communications and technology all right we'll all make of sure those. that goes up well thank you so much uh, for joining us today it was a pleasure thank you